Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznos here, and this is going to be my 1 to 99 slash 120 woodcutting guide. I will try to give you all the information you need to get from levels 1 to 99 and then to 120 woodcutting. First, we are going to start out by talking about the useful items, equipment, and general tips and things you should know for increasing XP, and then after this, we will get into the methods to train. First off, to start woodcutting, you will of course need a hatchet. Hatchets range from the requirements at level 1 for bronze and iron, all the way up to level 75 for the crystal hatchet. I highly recommend using the best possible hatchet you can, as this will speed up your woodcutting dramatically. Now, once you have your hatchet, a very nice thing to do is to augment it. This will allow for more experience per hour. Once augmented, you can add perks to your hatchet, and I recommend using Hone 6, which will give you a 12% higher chance of successfully gathering items. This can be made by using 9 silent components, and you will have a 90% chance of successfully getting this perk. The other perk that's recommended is Furnace 4 plus Fortune 3 perk. This will give you a 20% chance of consuming a gathered resource for an extra 100% XP, and will give you a 1.5% chance to double and bank what you have gathered. You will need to use 6 vintage components to get this perk, although it is quite rare. So Furnace 4, you'll have a 94% chance of getting, which honestly is just fine. Um, you know, the 1.5% chance to double and bank what you have gathered is not that huge of a deal. So these are not even needed as much as Hone 6, but they are a nice XP and GP boost. Now that you have your hatchet set up, it's time to talk about the equipment. There are a lot of options, so first we'll talk about the Lumberjack outfit. This will give you a 5% experience boost while woodcutting and can be obtained by doing the Temple Trekking minigame. Next is the Nature Sentinel outfits, which are elite skilling outfits for woodcutting. These can be obtained by collecting sentinel fragments from woodcutting or could previously be attained from Treasure Hunter. This outfit gives you a variety of buffs, but most, most notably the Master Outfit gives you 7% increased success chance while woodcutting, and 20 daily teleports to various woodcutting locations, and much much more. You don't need any of these outfits, but they are a really nice XP boost, and I recommend getting at least the Lumberjack Outfit. Now another useful item for woodcutting are the Lumberjack Auras. The Lumberjack Aura, the normal one, gives you a 3% increased chance of chopping wood, while the Legendary Lumberjack Aura gives you a 15% increased chance of chopping wood. These are great to use if you have the loyalty points saved up and still need 99 or 120 woodcutting. I would highly recommend using these if you can get your hands on one. Next, for another XP boost, we are going to talk about woodcutting urns. When held in the inventory, urns are filled as the player woodcuts. Only base experience will count towards filling up the urn. Full urns can then be teleported away to receive additional experience, equivalent to 20% of the woodcutting experience gained while filling the urn. Now these are great to bring along with you as they will give you a small XP boost, which really adds up when you're woodcutting a whole lot and going for something like 99 or 120 woodcutting. So I highly recommend you bring these along while training. Another item that can be used while you're training woodcutting is the woodcutting accumulators. They can be bought for about 45k each on the GE, and when held in your inventory, whenever you fail to chop a log, the woodcutting accumulator will gain a charge. Once it's fully charged, it can be studied to gain 2500 woodcutting XP. This is also a pretty nice way to boost your XP if you don't mind spending a little extra money on the XP gain. Now another item you could use is the Juju Woodcutting Potion. You can bring along with you and the effect when active makes the player have a 5% chance of getting 2 logs at once when woodcutting and also doubling the experience received. The perfect Juju Woodcutting Potion also affects Ivy and Crystal Trees, giving a 5% chance of receiving double experience when woodcutting. 
Now, in terms of familiars for woodcutting, something like the Beaver Familiar is very cheap and it will increase your woodcutting level by two, which will allow you to chop trees at a slightly faster rate. Like I said before, it's pretty cheap and only requires level 33 summoning, so it's probably the best familiar you should bring along. Now, finally, we're going to talk about archaeology relics. For archaeology relics, Inspire Effort is by far the best relic and will give you a flat 2% increase XP while woodcutting. However, it does require level 117 archaeology. Always adds can be used as a relic to burn your cut logs when woodcutting for a little extra fire making XP if wanted. This requires level 83 archaeology. Now that we're done talking about all the useful items, equipment, perks, and more, we're going to get on to the training methods. Alright, so to start out from levels 1 to 15 woodcutting, you're going to want to chop normal trees. These can be found almost anywhere in the game, and you will get around 15k experience per hour. You will need to chop around 100 logs for level 15 woodcutting. From levels 15 to 30 woodcutting, you will be chopping oak trees. These are also found in a lot of popular areas in the game, but an easy place to chop them is south of Varrock West Bank or near the Drainer Village Bank. These will get you around 20k XP per hour and you will need to chop around 280 logs for level 30 woodcutting. From levels 30 to 35, you will be doing willow trees. These are most notably found in Drainer Village and will get you around 30k XP per hour. You can also continue these to level 47 if you'd like, but you can stop at level 35 and go on to the next method as well. From levels 30 to 35, you'll need to cut around 130 willow logs. From levels 35 to 47, you'll be cutting teak trees. These are most notably found in the Hardwood Grove near Tai Wanai on Karamaja. You will need to pay 100 trading sticks when entering this area. Teak trees will get you around 40 to 50k XP per hour and you will need to cut around 900 teak logs to reach level 47 woodcutting. This is where we hit a crossroads in the guide, where you can do a variety of different methods. The first thing you can do is chop Acadia trees from level 47 all the way to level 94 woodcutting. These will get you around 55k to 85k XP per hour depending on your level. They are found only in Menifo's Imperial District and you need the Jack of Spades quest complete to access them. I'm now going to take the time in this guide to talk about the Lightform and Crystallize spell. These are spells unlocked from the Light Within quest and can be used while woodcutting. You need level 80 woodcutting to start using these, so if you plan to do this method to level 94, you'll want to do that quest at level 80 woodcut and then start using these spells as soon as possible as they will increase your XP per hour dramatically. Crystallize is a Saren spell unlocked by doing the Light Within quest. It is a skilling spell that locks a skilling node to increase experience at the cost of preventing you from getting materials. While woodcutting and fishing, experience gain is increased by 50%. Now, this can further be increased to 87.5% by activating the Lightform Prayer. Lightform is a Saren Prayer requiring level 80 prayer to use, and it is recommended to use this with a prayer boosting gear while using this method with Crystallize to give 87.5% more experience instead of the usual 50% when woodcutting. If you start using Crystallize at level 80, you'll be getting around 150k experience per hour compared to the 80k XP per hour, which makes it extremely powerful when woodcutting. To get to level 94 woodcutting this with this method, you will need to gain around 7.8 million XP and chop around 40,000 to 80,000 Acadia logs depending on if you're using Crystallize spell or not. Now we're going to talk about a more AFK method and that is going to be chopping ivy from level 68 to level 94. Now this can be found next to Varrock Palace, Falador, and in Prifendas. 
At level 68 woodcutting, you will be getting around 65k XP per hour, and you'll be getting a slight increase up to about 75k XP per hour as you level up. You'll need to chop around 21,000 ivy for level 94 woodcutting. This method is a lot slower than using crystallized and acadia trees, but it is much, much more AFK. Now we are going to be moving on to the home stretch, the final methods. Now the best method to achieve level 99 woodcutting XP wise is going to be doing levels 94 to 99 woodcutting back at the good old Acadia trees using crystallize and light form. You will be gaining almost 180k XP per hour while woodcutting here and is by far some of the best woodcutting XP in game. You will need to chop around 50,000 Acadia logs for level 99 woodcutting or spend around 28 hours. Alternatively, you could do crystal trees all the way from level 94 to 99 woodcutting, as they are more AFK and kind of like ivy, and you will be getting around 90,000 to 100k XP per hour. Crystal trees are found around the game in 7 locations and one crystal tree is active at a time, and then you will have to cut it at that time. The location changes every 2 hours of the active crystal tree. I will post a link in the description to the crystal tree locations. You'll need to cut about 11,000 crystal trees for 99 woodcutting or around 50 hours. From levels 99 plus, so 99 to 120, you are going to want to do the best method of chopping Acadia logs using crystallize and light form. Now, this is going to take you around 90 million XP to get to level 120 woodcutting, and it will take you a whopping 500 hours. I also wanted to take this time to mention that when doing these methods, you'll be wanting to put your logs on your hotbar to be able to drop them or be using something like the Grace of the Elves to bank them as this will speed up your XP dramatically. I hope you guys have good luck on your way to 99 or 120 woodcutting and make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more guides and videos like this. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.